welcome to bsc statistic student in this class i explain dominance property or dominance principle of game theory for which i give you an give an example for example player a having two strategies a1 a2 uh, a the strategy a1 gives uh, 4 rupees of gain to player a and strategy a2 gives uh, 5 rupees uh, gain for player a then which strategy player a will select always a2 because 5 rupees gain more gain to get more gain player a always looking to get the more gain so that is the reason why if you consider these two uh, this uh, this example these two strategies a1 and a2 having 4 and 5 rupees then uh, Player A never select strategy A1. Why? Why? Because the player, A, yeah, the strategy A2 having 5 rupees of gain always dominates the strategy A1. Therefore, he never selects a strategy uh, with uh, minimum gain that is A1. So, this is dominance principle that's all. This is very simple. Similarly, the same arguments followed to the player b player b losses for example uh, uh, 4 rupees loss and uh, 2 rupees loss which loss uh, which particular strategy player b will select always 2 rupees loss so therefore player uh, that is uh, such kind of strategy dominates uh, another particular strategy therefore uh, which are called uh, uh, one is dominated by other particular strategy so that is called simple dominance principle that is the argument it is going to be specified here in this particular probability. Now you see, if all the elements in the first strategy are less than or equal to all the elements in the second strategy, that is what I have explained. I have considered only one element. Now, now you, what you have to say, if all the elements in the first strategy, let it be, are less than or equal to all the elements in the next uh, second strategy of player A, then player A never chooses first strategy since he wishes to maximize his gain. Hence, first strategy is called inferior strategy of player A and player A uh, always choose the second strategy. Player A never select the first strategy because having the minimum gain, less gain. Hence, the second strategy is called superior strategy than the first one. The comparison of the strategies for player A will, will be in the rows. So, this argument is going to be followed, this argument is going to be considered in the rows because um, payoff matrix in the payoff matrix, uh, the player A always going to be represented in the rows. Similar arguments will be developed by for player B by taking only minimum loss. Hope you understand. Player B always uh, it is going to be considered a minimum loss. One particular strategy which gives minimum loss. So, these arguments are going to be uh, leads to develop the dominance property, right? If one of the pure strategies of either player is always inferior to at least one of the remaining ones, then superior strategies are set to dominate the inferior ones. The superior strategy always set to be is dominated or is su superior strategy are always set to be dominates the inferior strategy, inferior strategies, right? So, the gen then uh, the players generally use superior strategies always rather than inferior strategies. That is, player uh, two players, both the players, uh, player A and player B, always use always use superior strategies uh, uh, rather than they they don't consider inferior strategies. That is, uh, they don't consider inferior strategies. In this, in in such a case, in such a case, uh, the inferior strategies may be simply ignored and deleted. You can easily simply del uh, ignore the strategies or delete the strategies and so we can only consider superior strategies rather than inferior strategies. We can uh, uh, easily delete the uh, in, uh, inferior strategies of any particular uh, player. This property is called dominance property or dominance principle in solving the game problems. So and finally what is our uh, uh, objective ultimately the size of the game can be reduced into 2 by 2 rectangular game hence uh, solved by usual procedure 
that is uh, as usual procedure of considering 2 by 2 rectangular games without shadil point uh, we have to consider the formulas p1 p2 q1 q2 and so on the, and the value of the game etc you have to do the uh, you have to solve the problem right so that is uh, this is another technique the dominance principle is one another technique of solving the of uh, uh, solving the given game into the any m by n game into the 2 by 2 game and then you have to solve the uh, you by using re, uh, regular procedure of taking the formulas of 2 by 2 rectangular games without shadow point this is called dominance principle clear so it is uh, have you understand this for which uh, the general rules for dominance uh, just now what we have discussed which are framed in terms of uh, rules first one if all the elements of a row say k row are less than or equal to the corresponding elements of any other row say r row then k row is dominated by r row all the elements in the k row one particular row say k row are less than or equal to corresponding to all the elements in any other row say r row then k row is dominated by r row clear and similarly second one if all the elements in a, of a column, say kth column, are greater than or equal to the corresponding elements of any other column, say rth column, then kth column is dominated by rth column. Right? In the two, first two particular principles, uh, we have explained for player A and player B. Now, it is going to be which particular strategies are going to be deleted. We are explaining third rule. The uh, third rule, dominated rows or columns may be deleted to reduce the size of the payoff matrix. That's all simple. Whichever the dominated rows or columns which may be deleted to reduce the size of the payoff matrix as the optimal strategies will remain unaffected. Obviously, it is going to be unaffected. You can see in the problem, right? We can verify in the problem, right? These are the three particular principles of dominance principle of course we have modified dominance principle we discuss later thank you thank you very much